Hey, hope you're all good. Hope you're keeping safe and hope you're keeping healthy, washing your hands. Anyway, let me get on with it because I'm sure some of you are probably bored out of your minds and are really, really, really eager to get your mind flowing. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is auditions, audition preparations and self-tapes. So at the end of this, I'm going to put a little task together for you to do just so you can start practicing stuff for yourself. So basically with auditioning there's three types of auditions that you can go to you can go to theater auditions you can go to a musical theater audition or you can go to a tv audition but within those there's different types of ways that they can audition you so tv so for tv auditions you can either sit in the room and they film you um, and that's sometimes with the casting director there sometimes the director will be there but there's always a camera always a camera rule number one never ever do what I'm doing right now, which is looking at the camera. You never look at the camera. You always keep your eyes, I would say about between two to seven centimeters away from the camera lens. So it's just on the side of it. Um, and that's including when you're doing yourself tapes. So when you're doing yourself tapes, there's a number of ways that people do it. To me, I don't believe that there's an exact way that you must do your self tape, but there are some rules. So for instance, the way I'm standing now with my with just half of my torso, that is what they want to see on self tapes. Just your face and probably half your body. Sometimes you might even do it a little bit closer. So you've got a little bit less of your torso and your face. Just as long as they've got your whole face in it, um, that'll be perfect. So torso, head, looking away from the camera at all times. So they will be fine or they will be fine. So that's TV auditions and self tapes. With theatre auditions, they're obviously very different. You go in there and they're really, really big, right? You go in there, you give the biggest performance and sometimes you come out of there, you bust a little sweat. Like, oh, okay, cool, that took a bit of my energy. TV auditions, again, self tapes, or, with, or if you're in the room, you always play it down. You play it as real as you can. So you be as honest as you can be about the character. The character is going to talk really low. Then you speak really low. If the character is going to shout, then you shout. But um, a lot of the times I would say, I've been whenever I've been to TV auditions, I've never ever really needed to shout unless it's definitely shouting. So if it's an expression of anger, for instance, I don't need to shout. I can express that differently. And my face is going to be doing a lot of that. And that is not you putting on a face and going, oh, I'm sad. It's going, I'm sad. And actually you feeling that sadness and your face deciding where it wants to go and what it wants to do. So the task I have for you is going to be this. I want you to film yourself doing a self tape. Now you can choose uh, any movie or TV program you've watched that you really like. Make it about, I'll say 40 seconds long, about 40, 40, 50 seconds long. That'd be nice, just so you can see a good amount of yourself. Um, and just remember, it's always got to be half, um, a bit of your torso and your head, or a little bit less of your torso and your head. Um, and looking away from the camera. Now, you have to learn the lines. <laughs> There's no cheating this. Listen, when I first started doing auditions, especially for TV, I'm not going to lie, I used to try and cheat a lot of the times and that's because I didn't have the right kind of equipment and things like that and I'm worrying more about that than, I, than the lines. So, this goes on to the next part. What do you need to do your self-tape? Your phones are absolutely fine, or your parents' phones, it's absolutely fine. Um, I had a stand, had. I have a smaller one actually now, so I do have a stand. Um, and that stand doesn't count, that's a Mac stand. So that's not gonna hold my phone. But I I used to use it. So I used to find any way to position the camera to about where it is now. And right now I'm using some kind of thing that's stuck to the to the window. And yeah. So that's just made soft tapes much easier for me. But again, still more to come. Okay, so equipment. So stand is a good equipment is a good um piece of equipment to get for your phone. So a phone stand. Um obviously if you don't have a phone, you're using your parents' phone. A phone would be great. <clears throat> your own phone would be great, to be honest with you. Because sometimes you want to edit it too as well. A laptop is okay as well. So you can use your laptop. I've done some sitting down self-tapes. So if the character's sitting down, I'll just sit down, just make sure the camera still does exactly the same thing. 
So what else? Lighting, okay, so lighting. You see this lighting that we're getting now? Beautiful, marvelous. But if it gets later and you still need to do your self tape, firm, right? Um, if it gets later and you still need to do your self tape, then yeah, lighting is good. Example, I think the battery might be dead on this one. Okay, cool, boom, there we go. So I'll just use this one. This is perfect. And this one also has a setting for me to change it to a whiter, cooler tone. Call it light, should I say? So that that's perfect. Look at that, marvelous. Um, so if you get one, of, so this one is a. I don't know if you can read this, but I'll put it in some notes or something. So if you haven't got that, a lamp is fine. A lamp. So I've just put the light on. Obviously, it's daytime, but I'm sure you can see that the color changed in the room. Obviously, lamp. I've got a. Um, more of a warm lamp than a cool one so using a lamp um and obviously this day your normal light the thing i don't like about normal lights is it's above your head it's not exactly in front of your face but if that's all you have use it just as long as i can see your face is being lit up i nearly messed up there okay you can also use a torch from someone's phone just stand a bit far back okay so I'll recap all of this at the end. Um, the last thing I'm gonna to touch base on is background. So the background of your self-tape, it must be plain. So all of this I've got here, I can't do a self-tape like this. It's too distracting. You can see other things. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. They just, they don't want it. They would prefer it to be as plain as possible so they can really see and focus on you and solely you. I always use a white background. That's their preferred choice as well, a white background. Uh, I have done self tapes on a white sofa, this one here. Um, and the background was white and that was gray. So well, yeah, light gray. But yeah, white background is perfect. So um, I'm gonna write some notes. So I'll add notes to the video so you'll be able to see some of this. So let's just recap quickly. So self taping, you're gonna do a task and the task is to do a 40 to 50 second self tape um taking quotes from some of your favorite tv programs or movies or plays that you've um read or even books so anything anything that you feel can really represent you and something that you feel that you can really you can really um portray really well white background upper body face and in terms of equipment, if you can just lean your phone somewhere or that would be absolutely fine. If someone has to hold it, preferably not. So start really thinking, using your mind and how, how you would film a self tape if you didn't have the equipment. So that's, that, that adds to the task a little bit as well for you. So that's probably the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Figure out how am I gonna get this phone to stay in this position, in the perfect position and get a white background and make sure that it's gonna catch me from the right angle. So. I hope it all goes well. Wish you all the best of luck. Honestly, it's not hard. It's quite easy um, once you get the hang of it. So if you need any help, I'm sure that you can get some support from the notes. But yeah, stay healthy, stay blessed.